Greetings Internet! I'm going to be sharing with you books that I've purchased. This has been many, many months of purchases. We have two separate, actually technically three, I guess. I don't know. We have poetry in that realm, and then we have the silly contemporary teen, young adult, romancy novels that always just speak to me through spring and summer. I don't know why. I think because they're just very lazy reads and they're satisfying and they're entertaining and I read to escape. So we have all those and then I have one self-help book. So we're, we got, we got the whole gamut today. First up is Seeds of Chaos Anthology by Robert M. Drake. Robert M. Drake is one of my favorite writers, poets, whatever you want to call him because he has a lot of other books. He has a lot of poetry books. He has a couple of short story books and I just I love him so much. The emotion in his writing is very real and very raw and it just it feels like it's coming from a real place which I could appreciate and I'm here for and I've already read this one. Love it. Adore it. I've loved all of his other poetry books so I knew I would like this one and at this point I just I have all of his books so I like to collect them now and they just they look so fun on my bookshelf and you just you can't go wrong so Robert M. Drake check him out if you haven't. I have here The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. Kaur. I read Milk and Honey by her and I loved it. It was very hard-hitting in an emotional way for me in a lot of the different writings that she has in there and I figured since I really liked her writing I saw this it was like 20% off I think and I just I'm excited to read this one feels a little summery to me so we might hold off on this for a couple more months I mentioned this in my 25 at 25 video to appreciate the classics and I love the beat generation which is like Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, that whole gang of people uh, and I haven't read any of Jack Kerouac's poetry. I have On the Road which I read as a senior in high school and I don't feel like I was really at a point where I comprehended what that book meant. So I would like to reread that at some point but I did get Kerouac uh, poems of all sizes and the intro is by Allen Ginsberg. So I figured this would be a good place to start and just get my feet wet and uh, go from there. Speaking of Allen Ginsberg, this is Wait Till I'm Dead Uncollected Poems. I've read this one, I loved it, and they're in chronological order. So I believe it starts in the 30s? I could be wrong about this, let me see. It starts in the 40s and it goes through the 90s and I think it's fascinating, especially because it's chronologically done in this book you can kind of see the change in not only him as a writer and him and his views or him as he grows as a person but you can also see the change in the times as well and kind of what's going on and social commentary on what's going on during each decade and this book fascinated me. I bought these books a few months ago I think it might be longer than that but I was in a very beat generation mood hence the Kerouac and now the Ginsburg again uh, this is the essential Ginsburg and from what I can gather these are like some of his most notable works what this is is per the back his most important poems songs essays letters journals and interviews in chronological order and I'm always down for chronological order especially when it comes to writers or anybody in general because you can see the flow of growth and development and just change as it is to be a human. Uh, so I'm looking forward to reading this. I took a break from the poetry for a little bit because I read a couple of books back to back and now I'm reading other books, but I'm excited to get into this bad boy. This I feel is the quintessential self-help book currently. I've been seeing it everywhere. I kind of didn't want to read it because I'm very, I'm into self-help books but then I start reading them and I just I can't buy into a lot of them. It takes a lot for me to really commit and buy what they're selling essentially. But this one I'm not too far into it. I think I'm on like chapter three or something like that but I am eating this one up because this one is really just focusing on creating your best life, living your best life and kind of curating the life that you want for yourself. And for me that's something that I am 
struggling with right now, not struggling, but trying to find the balance between my obligations, what I need to do as an adult, but then also doing those things that I find important that I'm passionate about and making time for them, like filming these videos. So this book's been fun and I like her. She's very witty, she's very real, but I like her approach and I'm buying what she's selling me. This book. Uh, this is called Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. There's a movie coming out called Love, Simon that's based on this book. And I had seen a trailer for this movie last weekend. And I won't get into the story, but basically I oddly connected with the movie trailer. Um, and I was just like, this is an adorable premise. I want to read the book and then I'll go see the movie. So I went out and I bought the book. I started it this morning. It's your standard young adult contemporary type novel, but basically from what I gather, this book is about Simon and he's not quite out being gay and he's talking to somebody else from his school through emails and they both don't know who the other is and they're talking about their sexual identity and what this means and I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. I thought it was really a good premise to explore so I'm, I'm digging it. I'm not too far, I'm like two chapters in, but I like it. I'm here for it. I'm a sap for these things, I can't help it. I'm a little bit aged out of this target demographic at this point, but I just feel like it's so satisfying and it's so cute and it's just those good light summary reads. This book intrigued me. Uh, I saw it at Barnes & Noble, it was kind of just sitting there. I don't even think it was in the right spot. And it's, we all looked up. And then reading the back of it, I was like, oh, I'm intrigued. Basically a meteor is coming to the earth in two months and everyone thinks the world is gonna end so everyone just starts living their lives to the fullest and I'm assuming you follow a bunch of different kids because why wouldn't you? Kind of their lives and how everything is so monumental at that age but this just it looked really intriguing. I feel like this would be kind of feelsy and I can't wait to read this one. This is on my next TBR. Next TBR this is up next on my list to read. I want to say I've been eyeing this book for a few years. I don't even know when this came out, but it feels like it's been on my radar for a very long time. I'm very attracted to all things Italy because I want to travel there someday. I'm Italian, so I very much identify with the culture, but it's just, it's so romanticized in my mind that I love reading anything that takes place in Italy and anything sort of like that. But this book, I've been eyeing it forever. It was on sale and I'm like, you know what? we're getting it and I'm gonna read it this summer and I'm gonna love it this summer and I can't wait. It seems to take place obviously on the Italian coast uh, but also I'm gathering it's very kind of like old Hollywood from the 60s and 50s era and I have this weird fascination with Hollywood culture so I think I'm gonna really enjoy this and we'll see. And I'll let you know. This next one I couldn't pass up. It is called Rules of Civility. Yes. And basically it's the 1930s. There's a poor girl and she gets involved with a rich man in New York and it's all about that New York society, New York City, and if you know me at all I very much am attached to my home, New York. Uh, but this just anything that takes place in Manhattan in the city right up my alley I'm here for it I love it I am a total fiend for it uh, so this one just looked interesting to me it's about New York society like I said during the 30s I love history type pieces and I love like the historical fiction pieces like this um, so I'm excited about this and I can't wait to read it and it's just it's gonna be great. Those are the books I'm going to be reading or have read in the recent past. Let me know what you guys are reading and let me know if you have any recommendations down below. And that is about it for this video. Be sure to check out all of my links in the down bar. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.